Kerry is a U.S. marshal who's the who's in charge of you know several hundred men uh, or even more possibly at any one time, and is has taken a job that is you know months on end in this freezing environment, which actually turns out to be a fairly boring. Um, almost clerical job. Nobody's really committing any crimes and she's inventorying paper clips a lot of the time and, you know, checking out various not very suspicious things. And I think it's more a sort of endurance test of, you know, being in this very cut off, isolated uh, part of the world with not that much that's gripping to do. And I think for various reasons that in her life she had a bad experience with her partner when she was working um, not in Antarctica. Um, and so has decided to come out to this place to sort of take a breather and, uh, and sort of cool off from all that and not be dependent on anybody um, for a bit while she licks her wounds. And then while she's there, you know, various events take place that um, liven it all up a bit. Well, I mean, they, they're wandering along and find a body, you know, um, on the ice and has obviously died in a not very peaceful manner. Um, and so then it all starts to become quite interesting, you know, and worrying to find out how that's happened and uh, things escalate from there, really. We did manage to have a, a brilliant time together and they're just among the best experiences I've ever had with any actors. and. Um, I used to go completely bereft. It was like the end of summer camp. So one of them would get a week off and would leave. And, you know, the rest of us would be sitting there pining, you know, for them to come back and save us. Because it was relentless. I mean, there's something about being in the snow, whether it's real snow or fake snow, and the parker and the, you know, wind and all that stuff, that just every single day. It was quite, you know, and it's, okay, it's not going down a mine for real. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's suggesting that. But in terms of, you know, you really are in a sort of, it's almost like a prison environment, and it was quite a long shoot. So luckily, I mean, Joel picked some of the nicest people on the planet to put in this small space, and we did. We, 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 I, I don't, there are some, some of the laughs, the biggest laughs I've ever had in my life have been, have been on that one. Dom was lovely. Dom was uh, tireless. You know, we had a lot of, um, you know, really hard conditions, and Dom was absolutely good-humoured and giggly and good-natured all the way through. Um, I think, yeah, I think you know, when you spent time with somebody at minus forty-seven, and they're still capable of a good laugh and a smile. You know, they're a decent person. Um, he's not. Um, He's not constantly sort of uh, talking to the actors and, and sort of quibbling. He does tend to kind of let you get on with it. And there really were a lot of things sort of in between the director and the actors on this one. I mean, you'd have to wade through sort of eight feet of snow and six wind machines and unzip someone's hood to even get to talk to them. So it was really a bit more, had a bit more of a sort of semaphore relationship with, <laughs> with him than you normally do, but it was, it was different conditions. <laughs> I think that it's an environment um, that has very rarely been seen on film, and I think that the threat that's coming towards the characters um, is partially from that environment and partially from you know what we find out as the film goes along. So there's a sort of double aspect to the thriller because the, the peril that we're in is coming from you know various different sides. Um, our intention is that the movie is exciting and absorbing and gripping and. Uh, um, you know, I think there's some nice relationships between you know, the actors and the movie as well. I have been surprised by the fact that I'm able to do these kind of roles because it's not really what I'm like in real life and it certainly wasn't what I'd ever anticipated when I decided to become an actress that I would be doing this. But, you know, I, for some reason or other, people buy me um, in this kind of action role and and you know there are all kinds of reasons for why that's you know a really good thing